Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect no 2. Messages for you, Commander. We've got no messages, so let's carry on to the galaxy map. When we last left off, we did the loyalty mission for Jack. And now we're going to do another loyalty mission. The one that I was originally going to do, but I got sidetracked. Let's go and help Jacob. Jacob's a cool man. But it's a struggle because he's part of a team where everyone else is quite a bit better than him. Let's see. We need to go to Alpha Draconis. So we've got plenty of fuel. Don't need to worry about that. And head over to 2175A. Uh, uh, just no, enter orbit. Stupid. Anomaly detected. So let's start the scanner. General distress over here. General distress. Here we go. Oh, and there's quite a bit of easel. Nice. I will take that as well. Is there? Well. Let's um, let's land and see what's going on. Now, if you remember, Jacob got a message saying that his dad was still alive. Um, he was part of a a different um vessel, alliance vessel, I believe, that actually crash landed somewhere. So he technically should be dead, but he's not. Oh no, she actually put some fucking clothes on. Good. Hmm, here we take. Could take Miranda again because they are they are friends. Yeah, let's do that. You know, friends stick together, and this was the first trio that uh, we had. So it's all good in the hood. Now what does Jacob have? Yeah, whatever. That's done. Now we're good. Oh, this planet looks fresh. There's that two double moon set again. Planets, whatever. <laughs> But there's only one other planet in the system, it doesn't make any sense. And it can't be a moon because it's daytime. Unless it's that sort of phenomenon where you can see the moon at daytime, but not. No life signs, but there may be useful technology or information still inside. There must be. Is there something around here? I feel like there should be something around here, but there's not. Wow, that's a very empty looking ocean. It's like this is the only continent this planet has, which is oh, strange. Strange, strange, strange. And here's the ship there we're talking is, about. And mostly intact. They could have survived impact, but it's been years. What the fuck was that noise? Sounded like a gunshot hitting a wall. The SSV goods back. Looks like it was stripped after the crash. They'd have tried to get a beacon up as soon as possible. Hmm. Well got a VI to talk to. We've got some parts to salvage. Let's see partial officers. Yeah. Along with us anymore. We've done horrible things to the crew. The conditions they're in, they don't understand what we're doing to them. Distract them for two seconds and they forget what, what, what you did before the bruises show. It, it, it's got to stop. I'm talking to the others as soon as... What the hell? Repeat. Toxology alert. Danger of rapid neural decay. Local flora chemically incompatible with human physiology. Overload. Beacon resumed. Pause time, 8 years, 237 days, 7 hours. Hmm. Let's see what you have to say. From the look of it, this beacon's been here a while. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. 8 years, 237 days, 7 hours. Pause is recorded as... Record deleted by Acting Captain Ronald Taylor. That's not right. My father was first officer. Ronald Taylor was promoted under emergency command protocols. Other flagged issues. Unsafe deceleration. Local food and neural decay. Beacon activation protocols. Tell me the emergency command protocols. Who's in command of this ship? Where are the survivors? Captain Harris Fairchild reported killed following unscheduled suborbital descent. First officer Ronald Taylor promoted in field to acting captain. But where is he now? The location of the remaining crew of the Hugo Gernsback is unknown. This beacon has been unattended for several maintenance cycles. Unsafe deceleration? You mean they crashed? I assume unsafe deceleration refers to the crash. Give me the details. Following an unspecified impact and sublight drive failure, the Hugo Gernsback made an unscheduled descent at 465% of theoretical recommended suborbital velocity. The Hugo Gernsback then decelerated at 782% of theoretical recommended approach velocity, sustaining significant damage to investment and crew. 
What's this about local food and neural decay? Local food impairs brain functions? What are the effects? Impairment of mental function due to chemical imbalance begins within seven days of ingesting local flora, regardless of decontamination or preparation. Impact on higher cognitive abilities and long-term memory is cumulative, but significant within a standard month. It is not known if neural decay is permanent. Data collection was not completed. Beacon activation protocols. I'm not quite sure what's that, what that's going to Why wasn't the beacon activated before now? This emergency beacon became functional after 358 days, 12 hours, following the unscheduled suborbital descent of the Hugo Gernsback. Activation was triggered remotely after eight years, 237 days, seven hours, on the authority of Acting Captain Ronald Taylor. Pause in beacon protocol is recorded as record deleted. Hmm. That's all the information we're going to get now. So let's come on, get let's out of here. Let's get going. Let's check the ship. My father had the beacon for almost nine years. Maybe that neural decay affected it. Avoiding it for a decade seems unlikely. No need to be the smartass, Miranda. Let's just let's just find out what the hell's going on. The ship looks all like, massive from the outside. I don't know. It, it's crashed, yeah, but it just doesn't look like a ship. You know? that guy talking about? Doctor, give me your logs. What? What was her name? Sarah? S Suzanne? My god, I can't remember. I can't remember her face. We need to get out. So I can remember. C can think straight. They have to hurry. Oh dear. It seems to be affecting everyone. So, yeah. Well... Didn't affect that. Well, it didn't seem to affect that guy that was chatting. Whatever he was chatting about. Oh, missed it. Oh, there's one there. Hmm, the plot thickens, one might say. So it may be places we don't want to go. Partial crew log again. Expect the luxury of doo 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 process, but this isn't a military ship. Just bumping the command line up a notch doesn't work. Captain Fairchild knew this crew, crew, crew. His replacement doesn't command the same level of respect. I'm hoping the man has it in him, but I don't. She's talking about your dad, though. See, it's like there's no corridors, but it's just you're walking and it's a H shape. And that's the ship. Well, I don't, I don't know. Well, I guess what I'm trying to say, I'd like for it to be a bit more believable that this was a massive ship and that was, you know. There were places you could go, but they were blocked off because of the crash and all that jazz. But anyway, it seems pretty safe. There's no one around. But there should be survivors. Is that the Irish chant about him? Oh. You came from the sky? The leader said someone would come. He delayed for so long, but he still has power. Some have lost faith. The hunters. They will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. Just calm down a second. What are you talking about? You're not making sense. I, I... I don't remember how to say it. He's our leader and we serve so we can go home. But some want to fight him. They were... they were cast out. He exiled them. So they hunt his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue will come. Get down! Hunters, they won't stop until the leader is dead. Kill them! Agents of the liar! He will not escape! We compromise! Okay, do you guys know what to do? Kill them all! Nice trick. You know, Jacob, you're not. You're not. Uh, what the fuck is this? Oh, you're in my way. Fuck, this is also a bad idea. No, don't go over there! Can I, you just do your job and use the triggers? Triggers! You know that thing on your gun that makes it go boom? And 
it makes the bad people go away. Okay. That wasn't neural decay. They were feral. Our father wouldn't let this go on. Something is very wrong. You kill them, but there are more every day. They want to fight, but I just want to go home. She's lost. We need to find someone who can make sense of this. We need to find your dad. Quick. Make sure he's alright. Right. Move on. Oh. This could have been like a natural paradise. Strip Let's for parts. Tech's wearing out. Those hunters must be laying on the pressure. Are there any more hunters? Is that a settlement? Oh. They'd better be friendlier than the beach group. I need answers. We all need answers. It's got food stores. Oh, here we go. Hang on, these are all women. They're clearly docile, but in the same uniform remnants as those who attacked us. Like I said, they're all women. But there aren't any men here. Maybe it affects genders differently. Makes males get violent? Possibly. But the woman on the beach said the exiled ones came back as hunters. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat. To decay. You are cursed with his face. Oh, well, that's not a good sign. the best reaction to the family resemblance, Jacob. Why would my father force his crew to eat toxic food? Whatever's happening here needs to stop. Yeah, let's... Well, first, we need to examine the food stores. Look at these spoiled food stores. They've been eating only that toxic local food for who knows how long. Like that wasn't obvious enough. Let's talk. He has a cruel face. His cruel face. Cruel face? Go away. You are like him. You will keep us here. I can't talk to you. I don't want punishing. Okay. Doesn't sound great. He keeps us, protects us, and we please him like he demands. Oh, oh dear. The hunters will kill you. They fight because he exiled them and waited too long. He is bad. He has a bad face. What the hell? Somebody had to push them to make that. That's borderline worship. I don't, I don't know what it is. It doesn't look like anyone. There's a PDA. I saw a PDA. Oh, it's over, it's, wait, it's over there? No, it's over here. There's nothing over there. Jesus Christ, what the hell is it? Weapons are forbidden. Okay. Well, oh shit. A, I didn't actually see that. I was wondering where that was coming from. Well. I don't know why I stood out here. Trolls like that are a little much against this bunch. Well, that would make them hate him. Maybe it was just for defense. Something else in here. Okay, so food messes up your brain, makes men violent, makes women Please, docile. Here, you could end it. And very obedient, you apparently. Have his face, but you fight his machines. You might stop this. This I forget how to read, but this was the start what he promised and what they did to us we need the sky take us back to the sky what is it jacob jacob what does it say it's a crew log book some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long they were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay my father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. Sounds like he cracked a little bit. It was command material and it got to him. Couldn't keep the crew in line without violence. It didn't stop there. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle. Or toys. In a year, all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women, assigned them to officers, like pets. And after the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. After. My father took control and didn't stop it. Do you reckon there's a way we can treat the neural decay? Anything in there about whether the effects of the toxic food can be treated? Nothing. But it seems like the right call. If everyone gets it, who's left to fix the beacon? You'd never get out. 
but they did fix it. And the signal wasn't sent until now. I'm starting to see why. So he separated the women. Does it say why he separated the men and the women? Or is it as bad as it seems? No, it turns to gibberish. Maybe the men got violent early on, but from the state of this place, I'd say the hunter thing is recent. What he allowed here, Shepard? I don't see any justification. Are there any other officers that aren't affected? We haven't seen any other officers. He killed them? There were five after the crash. Medical, engineering, bridge staff. Should have had no problem fixing the beacon and keeping people safe. All killed within the same week. About a month after the beacon was repaired. Does this make any sense to you? Do you see an explanation for this? He's your father. Is he? None of this fits. Maybe the initial decision, but the rest? Abuse of power doesn't get any clearer than this. I need to find this man. We both need to find this man, so let's carry on. Okay, let's blow him up. Oh, god damn it. This can't be easy, can it? Let's see. Uh, I forget which one's which. Okay, there, there, and there. Okay, it's gonna blow. Everyone stand back. Everyone stand back. He's gonna blow. He's gonna blow. Get back. There we go. We're safe now. Cool guys don't look at explosions. This is Captain Ronald Taylor. Thank God you're here. My crew went insane. I only just got free. God damn it. It's really him. Just got free. He's covering his ass. He's doing a really bad job of it as well. Posed, like a warning. The new ones were left where they fell. The hunters started fighting back. Okay. We need to fight back too. Oh, that doesn't sound good. So, oh, there we go. Yep. Get in, Trevor. Change to disruptor ammo. Actually, I'll tell you what I want to try. I want to try my grenade. Okay, that doesn't have as much range as I thought. Out the way, fucking hell. He's jumped in front of my... Oh, what, 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 is there anything around here that I could use? There's a salvage parts thing over there. Oh, fire! Shots fired. Get down. Gotcha. Good. Oh, He's dead. Good. Good. Fired. Oh. Heavy pistol scanner. Yay! Heavy weapon. Heavy <laughs> pistol damage. Things. More things. I saw salvage parts. Yeah, money. <laughs> that was good. Okay, guys. Stay there. Please don't stay there. Oh, shit. I... Fuck. No. No, please. Oh, thank god. Oh, oh. I was a bit... Oh. Jesus for a second there. I thought I was gonna die. Okay, good. Had his fun. Now he wants out. Son of a bitch. Let's get him. Here we go. Kill him all. Nice. Oh no, someone else. There's always someone else. Son. Never. Ah, fuck! You can't get there. Nice. Oh, oh, he's a dead. I'm afraid you'll have to fight them to rescue me. Throwing people away. This thing is not my father. He doesn't sound like a nice man, I can tell you that now. Okay. What we got? What have we got? Protect! Oh. Brainwashed. Found oh. that one! Hang on. Let's Burn him. Switching sides. There's too many frontal crates. I don't like having that frontal crates. Oh god! Oh, god. <laughs> what the 
Oh, what is going on? Why is shooting me? Why is he coming down? Oh, fuck. I'm just... Yeah, okay. Miranda! Miranda! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I got my cover. Die, bitch! Okay, this is good. This is gonna blow. We need to run. We need to run quick. Where's Where's the mech gone? Where's the mech gone? Oh, he's dead. Oh, thank God. Okay, get down. I really have no idea what's going on. Enough with the toys. I need to look my father in the eye and hear him justify this. There's a PDA over there. Is there anything else over here? Oh, that was close. I could have died about three times there, but uh, thanks to my ingenuity and running away like a little bitch, I uh, did not die once. Okay, there's a PDA over there. So let's go read it. Oh, no, let's just go get money from it. Nice. And there's the man himself. Ronald Taylor. Ronald McDonald. Right. He's got quite a nice little setup here. I don't know why. Well, you know, the less questions, the better. You're just... here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. <clears throat> gotta have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> who are you exactly? I'm Shepard. I think you know who he is. You should do. Commander Shepard of the Normandy. I believe you're acquainted with Mr. Taylor. Taylor? Jacob? No. Not Jacob. Why not me? Would ten years of this look better to anyone else in the galaxy? You have to understand, this isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. You left it for a decade, I'm not though. unreasonable, Captain. But ten years? What happened? God damn it! Why did you do this to your crew? There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order, and things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance, like an instinct. Pure authority was easy, at first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial, break, protocol, they couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. Where are the other officers? What happened to the other officers? Anders found his conscience a little late to step back. He had an accident. Things got tense. End of the day, I was the one with the mechs. I got a little basic in setting examples. But I was kind to my people once things settled down. Seemed like I'd earned some peace. You fought over people like they were toys. Things. Time and food reserves. The stores from the ship couldn't last forever. You had to know this would end one day. Dining for one can really stretch things out. Besides, I can think of a lot worse retirement plans than stripping down and joining the droolers. That was before the Hunters, of course. Dumb or not, I'd feel it if they got their hands on me now. They want blood. I'd prefer to keep it. It's all about you. Everything. Hmm, you're still in time apart. I'm not quite sure what that would ask. You didn't feel any responsibility to get out of here for the sake of family? I gave him a good start. He was a smart kid and was better off not following me. We figured that out a long time before I took jobs in deep space. And after things escalated here, it seemed best to just disappear off the galactic map. Till you needed someone to save your ass. 
Why did the hunter start killing? What triggered the males to change and threaten you? This planet has some strange cycles to it. I've seen some plants around I never saw before. Odd weather. Maybe some just adapted a little too well. And if you treat them like animals, big shock. They become animals. We can undo the damage. We can help these people. Cerberus can have ships here in days and pull everyone out. He's not worth the fuel to haul him out or the air he's breathing. He's damn lucky I don't think he's even worth pulling the trigger. I don't know who you are, because you're not any father I remember. Well, he can't escape the law we'll now. secure him for an alliance court. For every year here, he'll have ten to think about it. Give him all the time in the galaxy. The man who did this doesn't know right from wrong. I'm sorry, Jacob. I did the best I could. I'm ten years past believing that. Oh, sad times. We leveled up, though. That's all I care about. And you got a new outfit, and you got a new power, and we got some pistol damage. Nice. Moving on up. Hey, we keep doing all this, you know. Might be looking at getting close to starting the end game, but still got a while to go yet. So we've got three quarters of the way there. The ships this? are inbound to secure Captain Taylor and his crew, Commander. We'll be long gone by the time they get here. Good job. Don't even give them the tail lights. Roger that. What do you mean it wasn't you, Jacob? If I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. But you knew about Nothing it. Nothing goes through this ship. My ship. Without a report to you. I had no more reason to believe Jacob's father was alive than he did. But I'm happy to know the situation is behind you. Fine. You didn't forward it. So who did? I did. Ah, the obvious insider. Figures. Who else could get into Cerberus channels? It was hardly classified, just obscure. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. You all right? You good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor can rot in prison. Doesn't change who I am or what I know. I've already mourned the man he used to be. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. You, you surprised about Miranda? You had no idea Miranda was behind this? No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Can't figure which promise she meant, though. Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. Well, let's just do our job. Come on, out. we've got work to do. I, Commander. Shepard. Thanks for the help. Hey, you're welcome. Anytime, Jacob. Okay. Before we head off, I'm gonna go research the heavy pistol damage, which is this way. Investigate weapons. Nice. Oh, okay. So that's like the first one. Oh shit! All right. <laughs> oh bollocks! All right. We've got a lot to fucking find. Well, anyway, we've got a lot to find. Any messages? Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Thank you. What's the message? The facility update. Contacting. You believe you want to know your daughter to probably sit down before the right book out. Oh, so they did. Go rogue, I see. Forcibly retired for their role in the project. So they're probably killed. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video where we'll do another loyalty mission. See you guys later.